Hey, welcome to Living My Best Life with Lisa Marie. I'm so excited that you're here. If this is your first time, welcome. And all of my subscribers, you guys are the best. Let's get crafting. Today's video, the theme is spring. How exciting with all the snow on the ground everywhere, this is a good time to be doing spring DIYs. I picked up this picture frame at the Dollar Tree and also I got those uh, but the four butterflies for a dollar. Aren't they pretty? This is gonna be simple. I'm taking some scrapbook paper that I picked up at a thrift store. They were like 25 cents a sheet, which is so cheap. So I bought a bunch. And then I'm just gonna measure out the right size to fit in that picture frame. I'm gonna use my little paper cutter that I got from Cricut. There was this big sale. I usually don't buy things directly from Cricut because they're really expensive, but they had a big sale for a first time buyer and I bought some of the Cricut tools and the paper cutter came with it. So I figured, you know, why not? And I keep forgetting I have it. Then I use the scissors and I don't cut straight. So I'm glad I remembered. I'm gonna use some glue stick that I got at the Dollar Tree. And I'm just gonna go ahead and put that on the back of the scrapbook paper. Or actually I put it on the back of the piece of paper that goes back in the frame. That way if I ripped something by accident, it wouldn't be the scrapbook paper. And now I'm just gonna take out the little butterflies and I'm gonna position them on the scrapbook paper. And I just thought, wouldn't that be a really cute picture display for the spring? They already had a little teeny square of like an adhesive foam on the back, so they kind of lift up a teeny bit, which I really liked. I thought that was cool. Gives it a little bit of a three-dimensional effect. So I just kind of pick, put them on there kind of by light to dark colors. And now I'm going to put it all back in the picture frame. Now, you could just stop right here and this would be a really cute picture for spring. But did I stop? No, I looked at it and I thought it needs something more. <laughs> so I got out my white wax by Waverly, the chalk paint, and I am now putting that on the frame to lighten it up a bit. It was kind of like a little bit of a goldish type color, almost like a distressed gold, but I thought it needed to be lighter for spring. And I'm gonna do that and then I'm gonna let that dry. And while that's drying, I decided that the butterflies weren't fine the way they are. So I'm gonna do something with those too. Okay, if you're surprised, let me know in the comments. If you expected this, tell me that in the comments too. I did make sure to go in kind of on that inside ridge and paint that as well because you could see that, you know, if you look at the picture kind of a little bit from the side. And now we're gonna move on to the butterflies. What I decided to do was an ombre effect. So the very first butterfly is going to be white. Then I'm gonna add in a little bit of the celery color, the celery color chalk paint, easy for me to say. And I'm gonna paint the next one like a little bit of a very light whitish celery color. And then the last one, I'm going to use the celery color just as it is and create, like I said, an ombre effect. So a graduated uh, color change. And I really like it. It actually matches that scrapbook paper very well. Each of the butterflies has like a bottom piece and a top piece and I think that's because you could display them with their wings kind of up and I didn't think about this till while I was editing the video I could have ripped them apart and had two sets of butterflies oh well I guess it's too late now but if you have these butterflies you might want to do that and then you kind of get twice as many butterflies out of the dollar that you spent on the package. The chalk paint really covered well on the butterflies. I probably did like a coat and then some touch-ups and that's it. So that wasn't too bad. I thought with them being plastic, it might take more than that. To give them a little shine, I used this Krylon Clear Glaze Spray 
from Walmart and just did a very light coat. And once that dried, I went ahead and I attached them back onto the scrapbook paper and added a dot of hot glue on there as well because I had already tried the adhesive once and I didn't want to take any chances. And now I'm just going to put the whole thing back in the frame. I love how it turned out. I think it's super cute. So let me know, would you have left it the first way or would you have done what I did and made it ombre? I'd love to know what you guys think down in the comments. Today's video is a collaboration with my friend Mia at Make It With Mia. Now her channel is pretty new. I think she started back in the fall. She's very talented and I hope you guys will go check her out. I really want to help her channel grow. She's as sweet as can be. She does a lot of Dollar Tree crafts, farmhouse, boho, you name it. Definitely go check out her channel and tell her that Lisa Marie said hi. And if you came over from Mia's channel, welcome. I hope you enjoy my videos. I'm so happy that you're here. I'd love for you to join me on my channel by hitting that subscribe button and turning on the notification bell so you'll always know when I have a new video. I do all kinds of DIYs, gardening in the summer. If you enjoy my video, please hit the like button and leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. That helps my channel so much and I do appreciate it. This spring DIY is so easy. I love doing easy ones. I just took this dishcloth that I got from the Dollar Tree and one of these little signs. And I've also got some ribbon that I'm going to use. And now I'm cutting out the design on the towel. I was hoping to use the entire design. It won't end up fitting and so I'll have to make a little adjustment. But it's just so cute. It says bloom where you are planted and I love that little bicycle. It's adorable. I'm gonna open up the little sign that's wrapped in plastic and then I'm gonna take my putty knife and I'm just gonna scrape off those word that says weekend. It's kind of like a little plastic thing on there and I don't need it. And then I'm also gonna scrape off the excess glue that was on there so I can make a little bit of a flatter surface. The next thing that I'm going to do is I'm gonna push out the backing. If you just gently push around like I just did there, it comes right out. It was just glued in, very easy. And this way I can position my cut out piece of the towel right on there. And as you can see, the whole thing wouldn't fit. It just wasn't large enough. I even tried to fold it up and clear out some of the space. But what I ended up having to do is cut off the bicycle and I'll just use it for a different DIY someday. And I'll just leave the bloom where you are planted part. Now that's gonna fit perfectly. And I'm just gonna hot glue it right onto that little sign piece. I'm going to clean up the edges with my scissors, just do a little trim for any excess that hung over. That way this little piece of the sign will fit back into the frame very nicely. And then that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to place it back into the frame and I'm going to use some hot glue to secure it. I forgot to film myself making the bow, but it's just a super simple bow that I wrapped around my fingers and then secured in the middle. And here's what it looks like. I think it's so cute. Do you guys like it too? I just wanted to let everyone know that I am on social media. You can find me on Instagram, Facebook, and Pinterest. Same name, Living My Best Life with Lisa Marie, and I hope to see you over there. I love this spring DIY so much, and it's so simple. 
I got this little wooden birdhouse at the Dollar Tree and I also have some tissue paper from the Dollar Tree that I think is gorgeous. I love that color and the flowers. I'm using some plaster chalk paint from Waverly. I'm going to be decoupaging but I like to put paint underneath it because sometimes if you don't it kind of yellows the color a little because the wood isn't a pure white. So in case you're wondering why I'm painting it, that's why. I'm also going to use the antique wax and I'm just going to paint the base of it in this plaster color and then I'm going to use the antique wax to stain the roof pieces and basically I just put it on and then I take a paper towel and I wipe off the excess so it has that stain look and you can still see the wood grain. I'm going to use the tissue paper for decoupaging around the outside of the birdhouse. Not the very base it's sort of standing on but just the sides. So I'm cutting out some pieces so that I have a smaller you know, piece of tissue paper to work with, less excess, especially because the birdhouse is so small. And I'm going to get my Mod Podge out and I'm going to lay some down and then I'm going to put the tissue paper on top and then I'm going to add more Mod Podge on top of that and then I'm going to wait for it to dry, very important, otherwise the tissue paper will rip. And then once it's dry, I will come in with my little sanding sponge and then I will start getting the excess off. And if I can't use the sponge in some of those little tight spots like by the roof, I have a little blade that I'm going to use to try to cut it off instead. This part was a little bit intricate, you know, kind of getting into all the little nooks and crannies to get away the excess tissue. It's harder to do on smaller pieces like this, especially when there's raised edges and so forth. But you know, a little patience and just a little bit of elbow grease and you'll get it done. For the front of the birdhouse, I needed to tear some little pieces and put them on individually because there's that hole in the middle and then the little perch. Putting a whole piece wouldn't have worked. So instead I just cut out some pieces, or actually I rip them because it looks better when you decoupage if you rip the edges. And I just placed them all around and that's how I covered it. It really worked out fine and no it's not like a cohesive design but it still looks really good because it was a bit of a muted pattern on the tissue paper anyway. I decided to add a little bit of greenery. I had this pick I got at the Target dollar spot. And I just cut off little pieces and I attached them with hot glue around the whole of the birdhouse. And then there was this one little kind of flower. And I put that right at the very peak of the roof there in the front. And I just think it looks so cute. I'm absolutely loving how this birdhouse turned out. It's gonna look really cute on a tiered tray. And that's what I think I'm gonna do with it. What would you guys do with it? And have you ever decoupaged a little birdhouse like this? I think it's the cutest thing ever. The last thing I decided to do is put a little bit of jute twine right around the base and that way it kind of covers up any rough edges from the decoupaging and I just think that finishes it off and I'm so happy with it.
And here's one last look at my three spring DIYs. I'm really happy with how they turned out. Please let me know what you think in the comments. And also, don't forget to go visit Make It With Mia. I will have her channel link and her video for this collaboration down in my description box. It would be so great if we could help her grow her channel. Thank you so much for watching and being here. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button, turn on the notification bell, and definitely give this video a like. And I cannot wait to see you in my next video. Until then, you are a blessing.